You know, the doctrine of creation is probably, uh, it, it is the fundamental um, doctrine for us understanding uh, so many things about Christian theology. It is one of the things that indicates uh, what it is that we believe about a whole number of things. The implications are vast. We're going to talk about some of them tonight and tomorrow, the implications of the doctrine of creation. And, and what our doctrine of creation kind of does for us um, is, is give us a sense of what are the ingredients that are going to go into your worldview. Do you have a worldview that only is it going to allow you to make real nail stew, or do you have a worldview that, that ha you have all the ingredients you need to make good beef stew? Do you understand what I'm saying? He had to steal and borrow stuff from her to get his stew, right? He didn't have the ingredients for beef stew, but he ended up eating beef stew because he borrowed her ingredients. If he had made his own, it would have been pretty awful and tasted pretty bad. So what we're going to do is take a look at what are the elements of the stew that we get in the doctrine of creation, okay? The question of origins. Let me see what we have here. The question of origins. The question of origins as it functions in any worldview is critically important. It provides the ingredients for our worldview. First of all, it provides us with our view of kind of the natural world. What kind of world do we live in? Our view of universals. Um, that's just a philosophical way of saying, um, do, you know, do you believe that there are uh, things like cause and effect? How many of you went downstairs today and wondered if when you went in the bathroom and went to brush your teeth, if when you pressed on the toothpaste um, thing, if the toothpaste was going to come out? Anybody ever really have any big wonders about that? Probably not, right? Do you ever wonder if, if I step on, the, step on the ground, is my foot going to go through the ground and am I going to, am I going to drift through the planet Earth? No, there, there are certain basic things that you know, cause and effect, for instance. That's what I was talking about with the toothpaste. I know when I go and I open up my thing and I take it, as long as I have toothpaste in the tube, if I press the tube, I'm giving a cause. The effect will be that toothpaste comes out and goes under my toothbrush. Um, I, I know that because I live in a world that has certain basic universal principles. One of those basic universal principles being cause and effect. Your worldview will, will, will have something to say about whether or not your world has personality. And by personality, I mean kind of like, you know, that basic component of what humanness really is. Uh, uh, consciousness, um, ability to relate to other people. Um, ability to, to look at the world around you and make conclusions. That's what personality has to do with. The, the rational integrity of your worldview is largely going to be determined by how you say this whole thing that we call the world came about.